the Supreme Court on Monday ordered the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals to examine the constitutionality of the health reform laws employer requirements and mandatory coverage of contraceptives without a copay. The move could open the door for President Barack Obama's health law to be back in front of the Supreme Court late next year. The Supreme Court responded to a request from Liberty University, one of the groups that sued over the health care law's individual mandate in 2010. When the court ruled in June that the mandate was constitutional, it dismissed Liberty's entire lawsuit. Over the summer, the school asked the Supreme Court to reopen its arguments against the employer mandate and the contraceptive coverage mandate, which it said were not addressed by the court's ruling this summer. The court on Monday agreed to the request and told the Fourth Circuit to hear arguments on the two pieces. Backslash. The Fourth Circuit, which traditionally moves quickly, could hear oral arguments in the case next spring. The school's lawyers have told Politico that they hope to eventually bring the suit back before the Supreme Court. Liberty University argues that the law's employer coverage provisions, which will require businesses with more than 50 full-time workers to provide health insurance for their workers or face fines, are unconstitutional because Congress overstepped its power by setting those rules. It also says the individual and employer mandates violate the Constitution's right to a free exercise of religion. The employer mandate is unconstitutional because of the contraception coverage requirement, Liberty argues, claiming that the individual mandate would require individuals to pay for coverage of abortions. The Justice Department hasn't responded to the Supreme Court order yet, but it told the court last month that it wouldn't object to the Fourth Circuit taking up the case. In that brief, Solicitor General Donald Barry Lye wrote that Liberty University's arguments lack merit but that the Obama administration wouldn't oppose a hearing because the issues weren't fully aired the first time around. Backslash.